Adela, welcome to South Bologna and thank you for a very informative talk. Yeah. Václav Havel is seen as an important figure in ushering democracy in Eastern Europe. Can you comment on some perceived strengths and weaknesses of his leadership? Um, I suggested in my lecture that what we usually label anti-political politics and what we know from Havel's most famous essays like The Power of the Powerless uh, had two different aspects. And one was the reflective aspect of, of reflecting the political power. And the second was the uh, abolishing aspect. And that was that by uh, rejecting the current polit communist political power uh, and by building that independent dissident community, which Havel really did with, with his friends and fellow dissidents, uh, they in a way really um, challenged the communist system and that was what made him so strong this this combination of the two secondly in your opinion how would Havel's presidency have been different had he received a formal education <laughs> that's that's a very interesting question uh, I wouldn't know he was too much of a Havel by by that time but uh, this this uh, improvising of his, maybe even what, what somebody asked in the discussion, you know, his not uh, intervening into the debate about the economic reform, all that might have been influenced by, by basically not having the education, but having a lot of intellectual, amateur intellectual activity. Lastly, what is Havel's historical legacy in relation to the founding of the Czech Republic? Uh, that's a tricky one because there's a lot of legacy uh, in, in building new democratic Czechoslovakia. You know, he really was the author of all the um, foundation texts of the opposition movement in the 1970s and 80s. And he was also the author of the first texts of the civic forum, the revolutionary force in the Velvet Revolution. And uh, he tried to save Czechoslovakia as a federal state, which he didn't manage to. And after the split up of Czechoslovakia, he was actually much weaker for a certain time. So for a certain time, Havel sort of um, diminished or disappeared from, from the public discourse. Uh, on the other hand, he was very active abroad by then. And also he started to bring uh, distinguished you know, thinkers from all over the world to Prague, to the so-called Forum 2000. So maybe this was the legacy that he himself chose for the new Czech Republic, you know, not to be limited in that tiny space that the Czech Republic actually exists in, but to listen to other people. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you to you.